ho, ho. Oh, hey everyone, it's Jamie here and welcome to Travel Vlog Jamie. You are never gonna believe this, but it is cruise day. Yes, I am embarking Pianos Arcadia on a four night cruise to Amsterdam from smelly old Southampton. And yes, you and I, both of us, all of us, are gonna spend those four nights and days together. <laughs> Shall we do this cruise? I think we should. Let's go. Coming up on Travel Blog Jamie, I go all out festive for this Christmas cruise. I have the worst experience with the Southampton Port Authorities, but fortunately one of the smoothest check-ins ever. I share with you first impressions of my cabin, how to complete a P&O muster, after a cocktail it's pool and hot tub time, soon followed by a memorable sail away saying goodbye to smelly old Southampton, an evening at speciality dining venue Ocean Grill, I share the good and bad about breakfast on board. I join a choir, quit the choir and rejoin the choir. Find out what a sea day is like on the North Sea towards the end of November. Find out what I don't like about the buffet. See if a wimp like me manages the outdoor pool. I go from rags to riches. It's cocktails ahoy on celebration night and vlog bombing. I check out the bars on Arcadia, review the speciality restaurant Sindhu, give my drunken thoughts on formal attire and do we have a fire in the galley? Come on folks, let's do this. Now listen up folks, embarkation has been delayed for all passengers by two hours because Arcadia needs a little bit of a deep clean following the last cruise and I believe an outbreak of norovirus. Oh, happy days. Not a problem about the embarkation. Gonna head to the Queen Elizabeth um, terminal, hopefully drop off luggage. Matthew is gonna drive me there. He's not coming on this cruise, poor thing. Um, head back into Southampton, have a few coffees, etc., and then back to the terminal to check in. Let's see how we get on. Look who's driving me to the docks. It's Matthew. He's not coming on the cruise, poor Matthew. Oh my goodness, my loves. It is a blustery day. I'm hoping for some good old swells. All right, we are heading into the QE2 terminal. Haven't been there for a long time. Oh, there she is, Piano Arcadia. Bye, Matthew. Bye. Bye. Come on, Mr. Googly Eyes. It's just me and you. All right, I think I'm one of the first here to drop luggage off, so in it goes. Bye, Mr. Googly Eyes. See you at the cabin. Oh my God, I can't believe what's just happened. I've just had a phone call from one of the staff at the cruise terminal, uh, really arsy actually, asking me why I left my case roadside and I'm gonna have to go and collect it immediately. So I explained to the lovely lady that I was told to place my luggage into pod one and I filmed it disappearing um, dockside. She told me I didn't do that. <laughs> Um, because my case is roadside. I said, well, one of your, your staff has obviously collected it and put it there. Um, she still denied this. And I said to her, well, I've actually filmed the whole thing for a vlog. At that point, I overhear her saying to somebody, oh, he's filmed the whole thing, he's filmed the whole thing. It's really weird. And I'm wondering who the hell has been tampering with my luggage. Apparently they're storing it safely for me. <sighs> Not a great start. And here we are again, I made it. A uh, 20-ish minute stroll from the Leonardo Hotel. Right, well I have finally got my case back after a hoo-ha. Seriously, if one more person here says to me, oh, you're the gentleman who left it. I mean, and then when I said actually one of your members of staff indicated what I should do, they said, oh, let me stop you there. Might not be our member of staff. It's just a joke. It's really put a dampener on the start of this. I won't let it affect me. I'm just letting you know I'm not happy in case you didn't pick up on the vibe. All right, case dropped off again. And let's try this for a second time. Well, it's very quiet actually. Shouldn't take too long. Oh my goodness, that took all of about two minutes. I think it helps because you can add lots of uh, details to your profile, your card details and so on online before you actually arrive at the terminal. All I needed at the terminal was my boarding pass and passport. And there you are, security done as well. Everything within five minutes. That's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm smiling again now. So that was a really smooth embarkation. Only slightly embarrassing thing is the lady who checked me in uh, knew me from the internet and knew I was on my own traveling solo, knew what my next cruise is. Uh, they know more about me than I do. It's amazing. There she is. 
Zigzagorama. Oh my goodness, and on we go. And welcome on board Arcadia, everybody. Well, my master station is A. I've been directed straight to the casino. Perfect. And then a member of the crew zaps you in over here, and that's your master done. Just need to watch the safety video in your cabin. Oh, now how cool is this? 10 decks, mid sized ship. I can walk this. My cabin is on sun deck, deck 10. Now, this is good news. My cabin is actually here. And look, there's the crow's nest. Yes! Alrighty, I am starboard side by the looks of it. Going inside, folks. Well, you know, I'm on my own, so I can't really excuse the extra expense, can I? S21. Oh, case is already arriving. Mine is definitely not going to arrive anytime soon, let's be honest. Oh, my cab is right at the end, but I've got an exit here. Caution, strong winds. Right, collect cruise card from here to gain access to your cabin and then start spending loads of money. And here we are, warmest wishes for your festive holiday. I forgot this is a festive holiday. It's still November. Here we go. I'm going inside, I'm going inside. What's it gonna be like? Well, first of all, that's going right down. Thank you very much. <laughs> this is such a good size for an inside cabin. I'm gonna be fine in here. And oh my goodness, this is actually a solo cabin. What a fantastic space for one person. Okay, I know you're gonna to say to me, oh, it looks dated, etc." I'm gonna be fine in here. Oh, look, single solitary chair for Lemon Jamie, all on me own. Look at the bed. It's not a single bed, it's not a double bed, something in the middle. <laughs> it's cute. Alrighty, safety video watched and digested. I mean, not literally, obviously, I can't eat all of that. Oh, how sad I get one glass and one cup in a solo cabin. You're gonna say, of course you only get one, there's only one of you, but it just feels very strange. Alrighty, before we go any further, it's time to share some facts and figures and anything beginning with an F about Arcadia for you lovely lot. Arcadia is classed as a mid-sized ship and is adults only. With 11 passenger decks, Arcadia felt much easier to navigate than the larger ships such as Iona and Avia. In spite of her smaller size, Arcadia still affords a real range of accommodation and facilities. Alrighty, priorities. Let's see how close the crow's nest is to our cabin, shall we? We're walking, we're walking, we're walking. Round the corner we go. Oh, is that it there? Oh my God, I am well in, aren't I, folks? Oh, wow. Let's do our hands, of course. We don't want filthy hands. Ah, uh, it's Christmas, just in case you didn't know. Oh God, I might end up living in here, you know. Do I need to go anywhere else? Got a stage here for some entertainment. Nice. Oh, and I do love a round bar. Priorities, my darlings, priorities. They call it a passion star, I call it a porn star. Mm. My favorite, honestly, they are so sour, just like me. In, out, or shake it all about? What do you reckon? I think just down it. <laughs> oh, well, my darlings, dad didn't even touch the sides. <laughs> Remember to turn off mobile data when cruising. Turn on Wi-Fi to access PO Cruises guest Wi-Fi. This will give you free access to myholiday.pocruises.com. From here, fill out a very simple form. You'll need your cruise card to complete it. You'll then be able to do all sorts from your phone. For example, make dining reservations, check out your onboard account and spend, have a look at what drinks are on offer in each venue, and a day-to-day -day view of all your bookings. And look how colourful the atrium is. And looking festive AF as well. Very nice. Radio, I have just been accosted by the young Julie Lambert. I know your last name already, don't I? I don't know who this is though. Someone has just like jumped in short. Who? This is Graham. Graham. Oh, he's your husband. Oh, I'm out of luck then, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> With me or him? <laughs> well, who knows? Both? Um, so tell me, I know you've been on Arcadia before, but why did you rebook? This is your second time. Because we've done the British Isles cruise in um, July. Yeah. And it was a fab time. Love the outside space. And the staff were amazing. Yeah. And if Jamie had been on it, <laughs> I would have booked sooner. <laughs> <laughs> you should have told me. Well, look, are you going to come in the pool with me? You want to come for a swim? No. Oh. <laughs> what about you, Graham? 
No, <laughs> not tonight. Well, um, I'm sure I'll see you around and I hope you have a great four nights. Lovely yeah. meeting you. And you, oh, cheers. cheers. I don't have a drink to have. Cheers. Thank you, Thank you. Look, folks, I never leave home without these. You never know when the pool's going to just hit you in the face. No one's in it. Does that mean it's freezing cold? So let's go and see. The last cruise I went on, the pool water was freezing. It was a Morella ship. Oh, this is... Mm, Oh, I don't know. Not too bad. I just need to get in, don't I? Don't be a wimp. Don't be a wimp. Oh, right. I've gone past me bits and bobs, which is the acid test, isn't it? I'm up to me belly button now. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> I got this. I tell you. I got the whole pool to myself. This is a huge pool. I love it. Oh, and by the way, there's a hoist here as well. That's fab to see because there are no steps into this pool. It's a good depth as well. I can stand up here uh, in the deep end. I'm over my head. God, when am I not in over my head? <laughs> I swear to the Amsterdam gods and goddesses, the life. Oh, hot tub time. That is a good temperature. <sighs> Thank you, Pino. I think this is a wonderful space. You've got a bar and a grill at the end of this pool. Retractable roof, so keep it warm in colder climes. Cool it down when you're in hotter climes. Three good sized whirlpools and that pool, ooh, that's a big one. I know you like the big ones. Oh, I'm not allowed to do innuendos, am I? Get told off. Do one. <laughs> Luggage gate is already a distant memory, or at least nearly a distant memory. Oh, Mr. Googly Eyes, you made it. Oh my goodness gracious me, that took no time at all. Mr. Googly Eyes, I'll see you in four days. And yes, I know it's not Christmas, but damn it, I'm in the mood. The shower, it's uh, not bad in terms of power. Oh, and it's got good temperature. Ta-da! Ready for the evening out. Let's do this. Oh, we'll be departing soon. Capitan just came on to say we can expect moderate to rough seas. Yes! I hope there's a bit of rock and roll tonight, my darlings, I tell you. Cabin, enjoying it very much, but <laughs> the air con ain't working. It's too hot in here. So uh, reception are going to send somebody up to magically fix this unit, I hope. Uh, you know I like it arctic, don't you? So let's see how they deal with this little issue. Anyway, in the meantime, I'm going to head out, get myself drunk, have some lovely food, and hopefully bump into some gorgeous people from the telly. Priorities. I have booked a thermal suite slot. You know I love a bit of thermalage. Is that even a word? Anyway, one to look forward to later in this cruise. Peninsula Club, baby. I'll have that free drink. Thank you very much. Cheers, my darlings. Bubble time. Happy sail away. Bit blustery, but it's quite mild. Well, this is the Aquarius pool and bar right at the aft. Lovely space. See you, smelly old Southampton. I'm on a cruise. And sailing away to some lovely Christmas tunes as well. Ah. Cheers, Matthew. Miss you. He won't care. He won't watch this. Oh, I hear a pianist and I'm there. Oh, look. Crow's nest, vibes and pianists. Using the PO webpage I showed you a little earlier, you'll be able to access all the menus for each venue on board Arcadia. If you have a drinks package, it will also show you what's included and what's not included or what comes with a surcharge. One thing I've noticed over the last few years is a reduction in the range of cocktails on board PO ships. However, having said this, the quality of the drinks I had on board was generally very good. If you'd like more information on P&O drinks packages, just search Travel Blog Jamie P&O drinks package. Like your papa, mama, brother, sister, savvy blog, or something like that. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that is delicious. Mmm, that is so crisp and delicate. Just like, no, not Matthew, me. And also, cheers to that family who came up and said hello just now. Their first ever cruise. And also their uncle's first time abroad. Here's to you, enjoy. I'm not being funny nor anything, but I think the pianist should not sing. I think he should stick to playing the piano, which he's amazing at. Mm, no. 
Bye, <laughs> All right, my loves, it is dinner time, and thank goodness, because I could eat a shaggy dog, a scabby horse, and a petrified pony. I'm that hungry. And I'm starting off my gastronomical journey in style. <laughs> Sorry, this is like over the top. <laughs> um, I'm going to speciality dining at Ocean Grill, is what I wanted to say. Okay, let's do this. This is the only Ocean Grill on the PO fleet. Did you know that? Well, you do now. Oh, it's not going to be busy, is it? Because it's night one. Oh, look, it's so cute. Oh, my darlings, I wish I could remember how much I paid for this. I really can't. I'm too drunk. When I've sobered up, um, I'll post something then, shall I? Yeah. Now then, I've got to be honest. Most of you seem to know me better than I do. So what do you think I'm going to have for starters? Post your answers before my starter comes out. Let's see if you're right. And what about the main course? Hmm? Where am I heading with this? Where, I ask? And what about those desserts? Here we go again. Cheers. Well, oh, thank God. I've got some bread. I'm so hungry. Are we a Mrs. Bush? Um, I'm not really sure what it is. I think she said pineapple and something else. Fruit juice. Maybe watermelon. Watermelon, Matthew. Hi. It's nice, but it's kind of like pineapple. More of a palate cleanser than a hamuse douche. Parmesan bread with lashings of butter. Okay, that's delicious. Doughy deliciousness. Very strong parmesan flavour, which I love. That's good. Alrighty, did you guess? I have gone with the uh, white onion soup with onion bhaji totally me oh we're rolling i love it are you ready for this oh by the way my haters out there who don't like the way i eat off the spoon how would you like me to eat off this one like this like this or like this either way i don't care mm, that's so good it's kind of creamy sweet white onion flavor and the bhaji crispy delish wow now that i've finished the whole bowl i've got to say that's probably up there with my favorite soups anywhere on the planet it is so rich and velvety and decadent but that bhaji with the crispiness a little bit of chili ah oh, stunningly good really a little bit more bread for the hungry jamie look how it glistens look Alrighty, did you guess correctly? I have gone for the sirloin steak, believe it or not, with some peppercorn sauce. And you also get two sides with this, so I've gone with more chips and broccoli. I think we'll have a little bit of that around the side. Thank you very much. Are you ready? Mmm, mm, that steak really well. Charred, moist. And that peppercorn sauce, my god. That's got a kick to it, but it's absolutely, stunningly delicious. Very happy with my meal here tonight, I must say. Just in case you're wondering whether I enjoyed that. <laughs> so if you've been following me for some time, you'll know I love doing the speciality dining on night one. Um, a number of reasons for that. First of all, it's a bit quieter. I think the service is therefore a bit more attentive. Um, the food comes out a bit faster. But also, I'm not interested in night one uh, bun fight at the buffet uh, or people finding their feet for the main dining room, finding their tables and so on. I always find there's a bit more of a line on night one, a bit more chaotic. So this, just perfect for me. Now then, this gent to my right, he's been asking me loads of questions tonight. I think he might become a vlogger at some point. All right, did you get this one? I've gone with the uh, trifle. Not because it's packed full of sherry, you naughty lot. Because it's low sugar. Matthew's watching this thinking, it's going to drip, it's going to fall, it's going to fall. Oh, no. Let's try this. Holy sh... <laughs> There's enough sherry in that to sink a battleship. Ooh. <laughs> and to end your evening off at the Ocean Grill, uh, tea, coffee, shortbread. Ooh, it was difficult opening that door. Now then, this is lumpy. You probably can't see it from here, but we've got a good swell going on. We are rolling.
Oh no, I was hoping the shops would be open by now. I need to get some nibbles for the cabin. I'm gonna be nibbleless tonight. Look, my darlings, that's the one I need, isn't it? Please open for me. Oh, can't get out of my secret passage anymore. And um, what's all this here, look? Oh no, look. Gotta put the um, ship's clock forward tonight by an hour. Damn it. For me, this is like theft, like stealing my life. Will I ever get that hour back? Oh, we are creaking and shaking and rocking and rolling up here on Deck 10 Sun Deck, and I love it. <laughs> Look, it's just like scenes from a nativity, isn't it? What do you mean, no? Last Christmas, I gave you my suck, but the very next day, you got chicken pox. Right, time to settle down for the night, my darlings. Merry Christmas. I'll see you all in the morning. Well, God willing and all, of course. Um, we have a sea day tomorrow, sailing through the English Channel into the North Sea as we head to Amsterdam. And I'm hoping for rocky seas. Good night, my darlings. Love to you all, especially you, you cheeky little minx. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. It's Jamie here still. Well, not a bad night's sleep. It took me a little bit of time to get off to sleep because of the shuddering, uh, all those waves. I uh, was still rolling around this morning. I like that. Uh, my neighbours also were doing a bit of rock and roll last night. And another set of neighbours who were so wrecked, they were running around the corridors screaming about 2am. God bless them. I hope you had a nice time because when I go out there in a minute, I'm going to be knocking on your door, by the way. You think I'm kidding, don't you? I'm not. I am going to be knocking on their door. Heading for breakfast in a minute. I think I might do a, a civilised main dining room breakfast. Uh, and in the meantime, a little peep at the Horizon newsletter, which is delivered to your cabin every evening and gives you the lowdown on what's going on on board the ship. Uh, and opening times of restaurants, bars, cafes, etc. Now then, Kino is actually quite good for solo passengers as well. There's a solo meet on at half nine this morning in the crow's nest. Might go along to that just to see what it's like. Some of you have also asked, is there anything for LGBTQ plus uh, passengers? And the answer is yes. Uh, there's a meet at half five this afternoon. For convenience, I take a picture of the program when we're at sea, just so I can have a look on my phone at my leisure. The resting has been done. Time to make up the cabin. Ba -ding, ba -ding. Oh, I hope this doesn't wake up my neighbors. Wakey, wakey, everybody. Rise and shine. Oh, look, here's the coffee shop. It's a dinky little one in the corner. I'll be seeing you later. They've got pastries there, I can see. What's this up here? Headline events. Oh, basically, fashion, 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 sale, sale, sale. There's always a sale on, isn't there, at the shops on a cruise ship. I think they're opening at nine. Don't worry, I know I need to get my nibbles. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's a library. You're like, Jamie, haven't you seen a library before? Yes, I have, but this is a library on Arcadia. We're going left, we're going right, we're going left, we're going right. I feel like I'm going straight ahead, I'm going to hit something. Let's go right. Uh, we are entering the piano bar. This was very popular last night. Uh, a nice atmosphere in here. This is where you'll find the dinky little atrium on Arcadia. Been fitted beautifully for the festive period. And it stretches all the way back here as well. Good ocean views. And I can absolutely smell food down here. This is the uh, bottom tier of the Meridian restaurant. Good to know. Do you want a table for two or happy to share? And all other table sizes. I want a table for one. And there you go. This is the main dining room. I've been given... Oh, thank you very much. A great table right at the aft. Wake views. And here are your options for breakfast. What you're going to have. What am I going to have? hot offerings, apart from me, of course. <laughs> Old man joke. Matt will normally pours the milk. Look, I'm having to do it myself. Poor Jamie. All right, my breakfast of bacon, hash, hash brown that is, of course, fried egg, mushroom, and beef. Some wholemeal toast. I made the mistake of not asking for my egg well done. That yolk's great, but this is just sloppy. 
Never mind. All right, let's open egg gate. Are you someone who likes your white snotty or firm? Post those comments below because we got nothing better to do with our time, have we? <laughs> and there we go. First breakfast on board. Just want to show you as well that there is the other tiered area of the main dining room upstairs, not open for breakfast. Very pretty. We are now on deck two at the base, the foot, the bottom of the wee atrium. I kind of like it. I know it's not one of these massive glitzy atriums. I think it's cute. Rush hour at the Neptune pool. Nice to see some people using it. The water temperature is even better today. Table tennis with a murky view. I'm sure it's normally better than that. This is the thermal suite, which I'll be enjoying tomorrow. Can't wait to show you around that one. It's also great to see showers and even a sauna. Uh, there's one for men, one for women here next to the Neptune pool as well. Uh oh, look at the dress code for tonight. Dress code applies in some of the bars and restaurants, by the way. I might dress up for once. Anyway, I'm heading to the solo meet. Ooh, coffee machine's not working in the crow's nest. Gonna whip down to Neptune Bar and whip back up. I hope I don't miss this meet. Now, this is a great idea. The coffee shops on board Arcadia actually give you these reusable uh, cups now. So they are committed to reducing the use of plastic by 50%. So you keep this for the duration of your cruise, return it at the end. I like it. Right, I've just met this lovely couple. We've been chewing the fat, haven't we, about diabetes. We have. <laughs> what exciting uh, conversations we have. So what are your names, first of all? Sharon. I'm Anthony. Well, it's nice to meet you. And you've been telling me some interesting stuff about your preconceptions of Arcadia. Do you want to talk us through that? Well, well basically, the last two ships we've been on were Britannia and Iona. And, and they're fairly new and we thought this wasn't going to be anywhere as enjoyable and I'm pleasantly surprised. Yes, yeah. I enjoy this ship, it's lovely. Lovely. Happy to come back on here, definitely. There they are. You said it's good value as well. Oh, definitely. Yeah, what we paid for this trip, I think I'll eat that watching food, so... <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, thank you so much, and I hope you have a great time in Amsterdam and the rest oh, of the week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Enjoy for your holiday. Oh, well. Whoops. I missed it. <laughs> Too much chit chat. Newsflash! <laughs> the aircon in my cabin is much more satisfactory now. Thank you, PO Arcadia. We are entering the North Sea. It ain't too choppy, unfortunately. And another news flash, you lucky people. Right, and this comes directly from Faceache and Twitter. <laughs> Today, someone was outraged that there's zero atmosphere in the pool because I had it to myself. Uh, who looks for an atmosphere in the pool? I mean, I'm just swimming, to be honest with you, but hey-ho. And over on Twitter, when I posted excitedly about my cruise, someone responded with how this is basically a poor man's Holland American ship. Well, do one, but also this ship was built for Cunard. Hmm. And you call yourself a cruise enthusiast. By the way, who does that? You know when you're like post excitedly about a trip? Who just poo-poos all over you? <laughs> that sounds weird. You know what I mean. Why would anybody respond negatively when you're happy or enjoying yourself or excited? Like, some people out there need to get lives now. All right, my darlings, before heading out for some festivities on board, it's time for vlogger duties to resume. Yep, I need to film my cabin tour. Now, if I can do this in half hour, I will be a very happy travel vlog, Jamie. I'll get back to you on that one. Right, so I've been accosted, haven't I? Oh no, as you call it, what is it? Uh, approached. Yes, What's approached your you. Approach, what's your name? Hi, I'm Lauren. And Hi. This is my first cruise. Yay! And it's all JB's fault. Oh, sorry, money. Um, so what made you choose Arcadia and this four-nighter? Uh, well, I've got um, Iona booked for Norwegian Fjords next April, um, but I couldn't wait. Oh, <laughs> I wanted to go on a cruise sooner. And to be honest, this was in my budget. So, and it's nice to come on a Christmassy cruise as well. 
Yeah, a festive cruise. Um, and we had slightly rocky seas, didn't we? How did you manage those for your first ever cruise? Uh, so yeah, yesterday evening I went to bed relatively early, about 10 o'clock, because um, it was moving a little bit. Uh, I'd still find my sea legs, but I'd say I feel much better now than I did last night. I think you're doing marvellously considering it's your first one and we have been rolling a fair bit, it's true. Well, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for approaching me. <laughs> uh, have a really re good rest of your cruise. Thank you. And look out for the vlog, you're on it. I'm going to get everyone to watch this one. <laughs> Alrighty folks, we've got a quiz about to take place in the rising sun, but I have a date with a different audience. I am joining the choir. No, I'm not joking. I am. Didn't you hear my singing last night? <laughs> Apparently we all know this one. Apart from me. I don't know it. I've heard of it, but I don't know it. That's the only bit I know. The pipes, the pipes are calling. I don't know anymore. Can we do padam padam now, please? Please, mister. Okay, I know this one. Take a sad song, I'll make it better. Remember, when you can start, you make it lovely Amanda who's come to say hello. Hi Amanda. Hello. How are you getting on? I am getting on fantastic. I'm having a wonderful time. What have you been up to today uh, on this sea day? Well I started off with the solos meetup. Yeah. Then I went to a face group meetup for a, the group that was on there and now through meeting one of the people in the face group I've come along and joined in the choir. And there you go. So when people um, often ask me if you're solo or if you just want to get involved with things or meet new people it sounds like it's good fun and it's very easy. There you and go. It's very great on here. Excellent. Well, I'm, I actually went to the solo meet, realised didn't have any coffee, went to get coffee, got accosted on the way back and I missed it. <laughs> so I might try again next time. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for appearing. I really okay. appreciate it. Lovely have a, to meet you. And you. Enjoy the rest of the cruise. And you. And there we have the Globe venue. Lots of live entertainment in here. Apparently, they have a club in here at night as well. Will I even make it that far? Oh, and up in the piano bar, we have a pianist at the piano, in the piano bar of all places. A bit of ABBA. All right, well, it's stopped raining. And it's not as windy on this side of the ship. And the sun's coming out. Oh my God, the sun actually is coming out. <laughs> Gorgeous prom deck. Should be able to get around the aft as well. Oh, fabulous aft views here, folks. Oh my goodness, we could actually be in the Caribbean right now, but we're not. It's 12 degrees Celsius. For you joggers or walkers who go round and round and round and round. Special lift. So this is the scenic lift, not because I'm in it, of course, but because you should have some scenes. Is it blue out there yet? Yes, come on, bring me that sunshine. Bring me sun. Oh, stop, I'm sorry. Shiny reflections, beautiful. More pretty reflections. Oh, this is the North Sea that just keeps giving, folks. Unbelievably calm and mild for this time of year. Why is there nobody in there? Come on folks, sort yourselves out. I'm getting in later, I'll tell you that much for free. Now I'm wondering just how cold that water is seeing as no one's in it. Let's go check it out. For all you sporty types, don't you worry. There's an arena up here and golf nets. That pool water is really warm, warmer than the indoor pool. I think I might get a bite to eat, get changed, get on in. 
Okay, this is the Belvedere Buffet. At the moment, the staff are serving guests and I believe that will be because of the bout of norovirus on the previous cruise. Alrighty, carvery roast for me. We've got chicken. It's taken a long time to get served and very difficult to find a table. I've done three laps now. Finally got somewhere. I don't like the buffet normally, do I? No. It's time for that swim. Oh my goodness, can I just apologize to anyone watching who's just said hello to me as I was passing through the pool area or in the lift. You may or may not be aware, I am actually half deaf and it's really hard sometimes to know where the hello is coming from. So if I look startled or whatever, please just remember I am probably struggling to hear where you're calling from. I would never just ignore you, I promise you. You can get your towels poolside here on board Arcadia. No need to bring your own or indeed store them in your cabin. The sky is all sorts of mean, moody and beautiful today. Sounds like someone I know. Right, I'm gearing up folks. Let's do this. Oh, it's chilly out here now. <laughs> that was nice though got me strokes in. Okay, I need to warm up at the Neptune Grill, folks. More food for me. Wow, listen to this music. Let's call this afternoon tea, shall we? And yes, you can get afternoon tea on board, by the way. It's celebration night and it's time to spruce up these old bones. I'll see you soon. Oh my goodness, I've actually dressed up for once on a ship. If you've been following me for a while now, you'll know I don't tend to partake in these evenings. But here I am, already doled up. Gonna hit the town. Oh, but not before a cheeky vodka in the cabin, of course, with a little bit of piano radio music on. Cheers, my darlings. Oh, bloody gorgeous. And don't forget, your cabin steward or stewardess will happily bring you ice every day if you ask. I forgot. Oh! Wow, what a beautiful evening. Everything feels so still. By the way, after I've been out for God knows how many drinks, I'm going to be heading to the East Bar plus Sindhu Speciality Asian Dining. Oh yes. Ah, oh, blissful, just lovely falling in love with cruising all over again or at least since three weeks ago passion fruit time oh yeah if you're gonna do celebration night you might as well have a bit of passion as well you know still sour awesome so i uh, oh look Ooh. what an unexpected <laughs> photo bomb that was it was <laughs> look who it is it's me. <laughs> did you like the picture that we had earlier I Yesterday. It's, it's a nice picture, yes. isn't it? Yes, it was. And now turn it off. Oh. <laughs> don't photobomb if you don't want to be in it, you know? Oh, I know, but... Have you been drinking? No. No. No, no, not no really. one drinks on this no, shit. No, Only water. Water. <laughs> Majorca. Yeah, tastes like it water. It does, actually. Yes. Give I'm you going. a bad tum, though. Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting photo bombed. I love getting vlog bombed. Oh, I need to paint in that vlog bombing. Vlog bombed. Can you even say it? Vlog bombed. Have a go. Espresso martini. For the sake of research, of course. Too sweet. Not for me. Oh my goodness, look how cool the Palladium Theater is. Multi tiered. Every seat a good view. I think this might be one of PO's best theatres, you know. Love it. Oh, I hear music. Is that in the rising sun? Yeah. Rising sun. Very popular bar. And right next door you have the casino. I haven't been in a casino for years. Do I want to hemorrhage money? I need a couple more drinks first. All right, my loves. Now, many of you have been asking about the drinks package online. Look, if you want to find out more, just uh, travel blog Jamie, p and drinks package. I've got everything you need to know there. However, because this cruise is less than five nights, you can't buy a drinks package, only a wine package. 
So I can't actually compare anything. I was on this occasion going to buy one and see whether it was worth it. <clears throat> as it turns out, can't do it. Pain as I go. I'll let you know how much the uh, final bill comes to though, okay? Is that all right with you? <laughs> Alrighty folks, on Black Tie Night, dress code is applicable in Intermezzo, Crow's Nest, Meridian, Sindhu and Ocean Grill. That means if you don't want to wear black tie, you really only have the buffet or room service. But still plenty of bars you can go to. Now then, this is the Spinnaker Bar on Deck 2. Very, very long and popular bar. Some awesome pictures here. Be yourself, everyone else is taken. Totally agree. My relationship with whiskey is on the rocks. Oh God, mine's definitely on the rocks. Whiskey, no thank you, Jesus. Oh my goodness, I wish I could ding-a-ling-ling -ling that one right now. I'd make a right racket, wouldn't I? Take me up, God damn it. Just channeling a bit of Kate Winslet. Let's see if we can get into East Bar. East Bar, baby. This is a small bar on deck 11. Perfectly formed though. Apart from these chairs, the deepest, most uncomfortable chair ever. Great views over Arcadia, having said that. Obviously better in the daylight. Cheers, everybody. They need to do something about the music on this ship. Oh, by the way, I've gone with the Whack Your Papa, Whack Your Mama uh, Sauvignon again. So, or oh, Whack Your Papa? Whack Your Papa, Whack Your Mama. Alrighty, it is time for dinner at last. It's 9 p.m. I'm, I've gone with the last sitting. Gosh, I really don't remember Sindhu being this big. And it goes into this room as well. Looks beautiful. Gosh, I said that really cakey, didn't I? It looks beautiful. And here we go. I really don't remember it being like this. They've done a really good job. I used to be a big fan of the Bon Viveur. So I think we'll be trying that one tonight. They do have a speciality cocktail in here as well, the East India Punch. You're not going to get that anywhere else. Now then, I booked this online. It was a £10 deposit which comes off your bill. Each item is priced individually here. I mean, you get as many as you want. I ask of the my subscribers, what do you reckon I'm going to have? Place your bets. Oh gosh, the menu continues. It continues. If you've got any room left, the desserts. Don't forget, two S's because you want more. That was really cakey as well, wasn't it? You could tell I've been drinking. Oh my God. Just one more glass, I promise you. That's it. I've got to go to Amsterdam tomorrow, innit? Bon vivant. I actually think that's the best wine I've had so far. Delicious, quite peachy. Just like me. Okay, we've got some poppadoms and chutneys. The mango variety, sweet and spicy, very nice. Chili and pickle, should have a bit more fire. That's the one. Yeah. Nice to see I got as many as everyone else and there's only one of me. <laughs> yes. The starter is here, beef pepper fry with pickled vegetables. It smells divine. This is actually one of Matthew's favorites. Sorry, Matthew. Oh my God, that is really good. Flatbread, fried, corral and beef, We've got a nice kick of pepper and the pickled veg just cuts through the whole thing. It's absolutely stunningly good. It's definitely one of the best here. I mean, I devoured that within minutes. Delicious. But come on, folks, you didn't really think I was just going to have one starter, did you? Oh, oh no. It smells amazing. Oh, it was totally up my street. Layer after layer after layer. Indian spice and it's very complex, just like mm, delicious. Have both, okay? Don't just have one, don't just limit yourselves. Have three if you want. So I know some of you are already wondering why I'm paying extra to Ching to come to speciality dining and not go into the main dining room for my dinner. Because I want to. You go and eat where you want, I'll eat where I want. But listen, if you like Indian food with a twist, Sindhu is for you. Just ask for extra spice if you like it hot and spicy like I do. Like, I want it everywhere, drizzled all over me. 
Holy shawarma, look at the size of my main course. So I've gone with the special of the three curries. There's a lamb rogan josh and a chicken korma. I got two chicken kormas because I'm not eating salmon. I don't want that flapping around in my belly, thank you very much. Uh, I've got breads, I've got basmati, there's dal, there's um, <clears throat> a vegetable kind of masala. And on my main plate, I have salad and more rice. How the hell am I gonna manage this? I'm gonna try hardest. Oh, and they've given me some chili oil as well because they know I like it hot. Just drizzling over some extra chili. Thank you very much. So I've been sending pictures to Matthew of this meal. First thing he said was, two starter Jamie. I mean, I can't lie, two starters all the way, folks. Listen, you're not going to watch me eat every single dish here. It will take forever. But some winners. The lamb rogan josh is definitely the best of the two curries. Very rich, deep flavour, a little bit of spice, so ask for extra chilli. Um, the korma, it's nice, I've had korma before, but the real winner is this side dish of vegetables. It's almost like a sambal, like a, an Indian gravy with vegetables. It also has a lot of heat, and I love that. Um, you know, this is a winner. This is a winning dish. Jeez, look how I devoured that. There I was saying, how am I going to eat all that? Um, oh, I just put it in my mouth and off the went. Yes. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Right, so I only owe eight pound. As I said, deposit paid in advance when I booked this online. And it was worth every single penny. The staff in there are so cute. They're so proud of the product. It's so lovely to witness. It really is. How about a nightcap in the crow's nest? Wow, the ship orchestra was playing in there. Didn't get any footage of that for you because I ended up having a really lovely long chat all about cruising with this fabulous couple who are considering uh, a world cruise. So you know who you are. Can you please comment below so I know that you've watched this. It was so nice meeting you. Oh, let's get this bloody thing off before it strangles the last breath out of me. Woo! Bye formalities. Woo! Oof. Honestly, I think wearing this sort of get up, one and done for me. Uh, if I were on a one week cruise on this ship, there are two formal nights. I'd only partake in one max. I've got to be honest with you. Uh, it's just too much. Honestly, ladies, you with your plunging neckline and your shoulders and arms out and your sandals disguised as beautiful cocktail shoes, you don't know what it's like to have every living last breath strangled out of you. It's just not nice. Don't like it. Sorry. Give me a polo any day. Oh, we've just had an emergency announcement in all areas of the ship, actually, for a crew to head to the galley on deck three. It sounds like there's been or there is a fire. Hopefully everyone is safe and sound. Hopefully we'll all be safe and sound as well. Might get another announcement soon. Tell us what's happening. Hopefully you don't have to go anywhere because I've just put me comfies on for goodness sake. <gasps> oh, another announcement. A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the captain speaking from the bridge. First of all, attention ship's company. First aid response may now stand down. Good. I hope you're all right. For the attention of our guests on board. This evening, the bridge received a activated alarm, which had resulted in the initialization and activation of a fire suppression system. There's a lot of shuns in that. You just say there was a fire. Our protocols are such I should be that we do initiate our emergency response for this, and as such, the bridge team did exactly as they are intended to do. Thank goodness for the drills. I can confirm that there has been no fire. Oh. I say again, there has been no fire. Okay, Captain, I believe you. We are investigating the cause and uh, continue to enjoy your evening. Thank you. Thanks, Captain, but I'm going to bed now, my darling, because I'm knackered. <laughs> well, everybody, that is the end of part one, but you are going to want to tune in for part two. Of course you are. I'm heading to the thermal suite. Yay! I've got a whole day in Amsterdam, and as I said to a couple um, in Sindhu tonight, I'm just going to be getting lost getting drunk and probably falling into a canal. Oh my goodness, why am I telling you these things? Why not watch the sizzling sizzler reel instead? Here it comes.
Coming up in part two, I head to the thermal suite on board Acadia and I've got some great tips for you to get the most out of your visit and a good deal. We arrive into Amsterdam and I'm going to show you how to make the most of this absolutely stunning city without spending any money on excursions. I promise you this fantastic bonkers city is easily accessed on foot and by public transport. Meanwhile, back on board for nighttime swims, P&O's famous Indian buffet, my first time at a silent disco. Have you noticed how they're not actually that silent? The stunning tribute act So Cher, the worst late night snacks I've ever had, our second sea day, checking out the iced coffee on board and free snack, one final sunset, taking Christmas into my own hands with this over the top outfit, it's party night with Pulse, I have a new nickname to Dinner Jamie. I talk you through the whole disembarkation process and of course those all important reflections. Would I sail on Arcadia again? Make me up before you go look resting bitch face. See you the next time. Betty pools for me. Good night, darlings. Love you. Don't love you. Don't love you. Don't love you. But I love you. Mwah. Thank you so much in helping me reach 20,000 subscribers. And today, shout outs to my patrons. If you'd like to become a patron, search patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. As always, my darlings, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on X, Threads, Instagram, Patreon, and YouTube. <laughs>